We go to Vegas, me and the wife, and we have other couples we hang out with. That's what you do you, when you're married. You hang out with other couples, usually couples you can tolerate. <laughs> and hopefully they make about the same amount of money as you. There's nothing worse than the broke friends that show up. You know, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I guess we're not having steak. <laughs> and we did it up, you know, we did it up. My, my wife, my wife, uh, she, we went out, she dressed up very nice. She dressed me very nice. I'll laugh it up, she dresses me. My wife, look at, uh, this outfit had a sticky note that said Saturday. <laughs> I'm, I'm her personal little Build-A-Bear. Uh, She buys it, I wear it, man. That's the rule at my house. She, uh, she knows I don't like to shop, so what she does is she buys a bunch of stuff, brings it home, I try it on, she approves it, and that's what I wear. That's what I wear. Uh, she, knows I don't, she knows I don't like to try it on at the store. I hate that. I hate to try stuff on at the store, because sometimes she makes me, and, and, and I, I come out of the dressing room like a mad eight-year-old. Can we go? Can we go? <laughs> so we're in Vegas with my buddies, and uh, we go out and get bottle service. You know, me and her, we get bottle service. We're drinking, we're having a good time, we're dancing. And then somewhere in the night, I, I lost my wife. Uh, I don't know, how, I, I, I told her I was gonna go play craps a little bit. <laughs> and I, I, I was playing craps, and I was winning. I was winning a lot, and I never win, I never win. But this time I was winning a lot. And, and all the men were winning, and we were high-fiving and screaming. We were, yeah, woo, yeah, baby, yeah, heart six, and we're screaming. <laughs> See, you women don't get it. You don't understand. <laughs> women don't understand what it feels like when men win in gambling. Let me help you out, ladies. Imagine you walk into Macy's, and everything is free. <laughs> your, 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 your vaginas would scream, <laughs> and, and then there'd be riots and dead people, but at, at first, uh, so we're winning, we're having a great time, we're drinking, and we're winning, and we're high-fiving, and then all of a sudden I hear, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and all the men at the table got scared, they're like, oh shit, is it mine? Oh shit. <laughs> One guy just left, he grabbed his shit, fuck it, I'm out of here. Like, shit. <laughs> he just left. I turned around, it was mine, it was my wife. And she was in her pajamas. <laughs> Free range titties out. <laughs> she was pissed. I said, hey babe, get over here. We're winning. She's are you kidding me right now? And I go, what's your problem? She goes, my problem is it's 9.45 in the morning. I've been calling you for four hours. I thought you went to jail. <laughs> Which I could understand. I've been to jail several times in our relationship. <laughs> She'll get over here right now. And the Crown Royal that I was drinking asked me to ask her if she wanted to go to breakfast. Uh, <laughs> I go, you wanna go to breakfast? <laughs> Just get over here right now. And all the men were like, you, you should go. Uh, <laughs> she looks pissed. You know you're in trouble when your wife comes out in sleepy clothes, no bra. That's some, you're in some shit. Uh, never once have you seen an episode of Cops where a woman's wearing a bra. Never. <laughs> you're in trouble. She says, let's go. And my wife was stomping through the casino and I couldn't keep up because I was going like this. <laughs> I was in so much trouble walking through the MGM Grand that other men, while I was walking by, were getting in trouble. Other women were like, look at him, you piece of shit. Look at him, are you gonna be like that? How are you gonna be like that? Remember last time we came to Vegas, you motherfucker, you did that shit to me. Her tits are out, poor girl. She's over there picking them up and throwing them out. I got that shit. <laughs> I woke up, uh, I woke up in my hotel room about 5 p.m. <laughs> naked, I was naked. Which leads me to believe that I tried to rape my wife. 
I try to rape her sometimes when I'm drunk. She, my wife was gone, she was gone, and so was the money. I'm pretty sure I know who stole it. But I didn't press charges, because uh, she didn't press charges on me trying to rape her, so. She came home about 7 p.m. with a lot of bags. She put them on the floor and became the auctioneer. Let me tell you what I bought, motherfucker. You don't respect me, I don't respect you. See that shit right there? Full price, motherfucker. Full price. Bought that shit right there. Needed, needed another Louis Vuitton? Got it, motherfucker. Check that shit out. Normally, 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 I buy Steve Maddens. That's what I buy Steve Maddens, because I respect you, and I don't want us to spend too much money. I don't buy Jimmy Choo's, but today, motherfucker, Jimmy Choo's. Uh, so we even? <laughs> Most men in here are like, yeah, that's how it works, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We, uh, <laughs> that's how it is, man. You, you do it, though, don't you? You just, God, I hate her. <laughs> Sometimes I wish my wife would get hit by a truck. Uh, that's a horrible thing to say. I know, it's horrible. And, and I thought we were friends. I thought we could talk. <laughs> sometimes I want out, all right? I'm gonna be honest, sometimes, not all the time, most of the time it's good, but sometimes I want out, just... But I don't get out. You know why I don't get out? Because there's another man waiting to sleep with her. <laughs> and I could not, I could not imagine another man sleeping with my wife. So I stay in, I fucking stay in. <laughs> So if my wife gets hit by a truck, <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> if my wife gets hit by a truck, cause I like her parents, and her parents like me, and if she gets hit by a truck, we'll probably still be friends. <laughs> and here's the best part, I can be a complete drunk and people will defend me. <laughs> hey man, why Steve drunk all the time? Shh. His wife got hit by a truck. <laughs> Why is Steve doing cocaine off that stripper's titties? Hey, have a little respect. His wife got hit by a truck. <laughs> I had a dream when I was a kid and she stole it. I'll tell you my dream, when I was a little kid, my father took me to an Astros game. Yeah. And he told me, he said, bring, bring your glove. And I said, okay, but they're not gonna hit it way up here. <laughs> and I, I sat up there like, as a little kid and I looked down and I used to see those guys that sat behind home plate. And I used to tell myself that one of these days I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna make money, and I'm gonna be the guy that sits behind home plate. And I'm proud to say, I'm proud to say last year I was able to do that. I was able to do, don't clap, don't clap, don't clap. Don't you dare clap, my wife was involved, Captain Evil. <laughs> That's what I call my wife, Captain Evil. She's like a messed up superhero. If I'm ever having too much fun, she will show up. <laughs> What's going on over here? What are you, smiling? We gotta go, we gotta go. I'm tired, I'm sick, I'm hungry, I'm cold, I'm hot, I hate him, I hate her. Ah! And I'll tell you how it happened. I was sitting at home and I called my buddy up. I said, me, you, opening day, home plate. And I hung up the phone. And here comes Captain Evil. How come you didn't invite me? I said, first of all, how did you hear that? You're in the, you're in the kitchen, I'm in the living room. How come when I'm screaming at the top of my lungs for a beer, you're nowhere to be found? Now I'm having a private conversation in code in your satellite ears all of a sudden. <laughs> Just what's going on over here? How come you didn't invite me? I said, honey, you don't like baseball. My wife, my wife doesn't like baseball. You know how I know she doesn't like baseball? I watch it on TV. And she walks by that TV and goes, 
How can you watch that? Is there a game every day? No, ma'am, sometimes there's two. Now, all of a sudden, I'm spending $500 on tickets, and guess who's an Astros fan? All of a sudden. <laughs> Captain Evil. Now, I gotta call my buddy, tell my buddy that Captain Evil has to come. I call him up, I said, man, I got bad news. He said, what? I go, Captain Evil has to come. He goes, oh, that's good news. I was trying to figure out how to tell you Deelzebub has to come. <laughs> that's, that's what he calls his wife, Deelzebub. But not to her face, he calls her angel. Because the devil was an angel too. I call mine honey, short for the honey badger. Now, the four of us are going to the game. I tell my wife before we leave, I go, you're gonna get cold, wear a coat. You need to wear a coat, it gets cold, wear a coat, sweater, something. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't wear any of it. It didn't match her outfit. I, I brought a coat, I, I, I brought a coat. Who's wearing a coat now? Uh, not, not me. I'm freezing my ass off. Captain Evil is toasty, right here. I don't even get to sit next to my buddy. I'm sitting here, Captain Evil's here, DL's above's here, he's way over there. We don't even get to talk, we just look at each other. They talk, they're talking, oh yeah. Not even about baseball. Oh my God, I went over to the Macy's, had 20% off at the Macy's. I got this for $17. $17! I wonder if they sell wine. Baby, you think they sell wine? Go check if they sell wine. Am I watching the game? No, like an asshole. I'm walking around trying to see if they sell wine. And I can't ask just one person. I have to ask the entire stadium. Because God forbid, I sit back down with no wine and my wife sees another woman with wine. Then the entire game, I have to hear, she has wine, how come she has wine? Look, she has wine, that's wine, I can tell that's wine. That's wine, she has a good husband. I'll go get it, fuck it, I'll just go get it because you don't care, you don't care about me, you don't care about me. Her husband cares, Her hu she has wine, look at that's wine. I can tell that's wine, shit! <laughs> and I'm sitting down, finally, I get back after an hour and a half, she has a beer in her hand. Well, you took forever, you motherfucker. <laughs> you have to ask God for help. God, help me right now, please help me. <laughs> finally, I sit down. And I'm finally enjoying the game that I've, I've dreamt about. And every time they would hit a foul ball, I would jump out of my seat. So would my buddy, hoping the foul ball was coming to me. The foul ball would go off, and I'd jump up. About the fourth time, I looked back at my wife. She goes, you're an idiot, you know that? <laughs> I said, really, honey? Because if Louis Vuittons were flying over that fence, <laughs> there'd be some dead bitches here at the Astros. <laughs> Tickets would be $3,000 a ticket. <laughs> and somehow we'd find room in our budget for that! <laughs> what I'm trying to say, ladies, is you're a bad person. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know, I, I, okay, first of all, nothing's yours. You get married, it's not yours anymore, nothing. Nothing is yours. Sometimes I go to McDonald's, man, I don't care, I get crazy. I go to McDonald's for dinner. I, I might call her first, I'm not stupid. <laughs> and I don't know why I call her, I already know the answer. I know what she's gonna say. Go, hey babe, I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's? <laughs> Are you sure you wanna go to McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I drove into the McDonald's. I called you, asked you if you wanted McDonald's. I'm pretty fucking sure. <laughs> oh, if you like making decisions, don't get married. My wife makes decisions for me. I don't even know why she asks. Hey, babe, how many hot dogs do you want? I'll take three. Two, I said three, I said fucking three. 
You think you should have three? That wasn't the question. That was not the question. The question's how many do I want? And the answer's three! Sometimes I say four. I say, give me four. She'll still bring two. She'll still bring two. I'll sit down, I'll get my McDonald's. I'll, I'll ask her very clearly, do you want McDonald's? And my wife will say no. She will say no, and I'll make her text it to me. I go, you text that to me. <laughs> I need evidence, I need proof. I need, you text it to me. <laughs> and I go home with my McDonald's, I sit on the couch. I rip the bag open like a man. I put the french fries on the bag. I take a little, little salt and pepper, make them real nice. And here comes Captain Evil. Oh my God, this is so good. This is delicious. I shouldn't. I really, no, you shouldn't, because I bought them for me. I just want a few. Then I would have bought you a few. I would have, it says no, right here on the phone. It says no. It doesn't say a few. It says no. You want a few? I would have bought you a large. You could have had a few, thrown them away. But those are mine. How come you didn't bring barbecue sauce? Because they're for me. She'll get the last one, that piece of shit. <laughs> she does it real cute. <sighs> They're so good. Take it, just take it. I got a 10 piece in the car, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm Steve Trevino, thank you very much. Thank you. No matter, no matter, no matter how big or small a show I do, whether there's 10 people or 10,000, I always say that we can't forget why we live in a great country. We live in a great country because men and women volunteer to defend it. That's our U.S. military. <laughs> Tonight, uh, and let's not, let's also not forget that there's some men and women in this room that served in the Vietnam War. Let's not forget about them. All our Vietnam vets, give them a round of applause, please. We're very, very lucky people tonight. Very, very lucky, because in the, in the hall, in the house tonight, I have some of our wounded veteran heroes. They're right over here. Where are they at? Stand up, stand up. All my, all my wounded vets, stand up. Clap for them. That, those are the stars. Thank you, all of you, thank you. We here in South Texas respect you and honor you. Thank you very much. One more round of applause for our wounded vets. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from right here in Corpus Christi, Texas, how about a little Rancho Grande? Come on, Roger! Bill Connor! I am the Rancho Grande. I am the Navy. Que usa el ranchero Con los comienzos de lana Con los acabos de cuero Su mamá le dice a Julia Su mamá le dice a Julia Que ya di Yo sé señor Ay, 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 ay Mamá no me dijo nada Mamá no me dijo nada Solo me Hablo de amor, ay, 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 al gusto de los vaqueros, al gusto de una muchacha, para salir 
la plaza Dale vuelo a la Thank <laughs> you. 